five new Netflix movies that are Oscar-worthy. Netflix made its presence strongly felt in the Academy Awards when Alfonso Cuaron's masterpiece Roma received 10 nominations and won Best Foreign Language Film, Best Cinematography, and Best Director in the 2019 Oscar Awards Ceremony. And the Oscar goes to Alfonso Cuaron. With five upcoming Oscar-worthy releases starting this fall, Netflix may keep its robust winning streak in 2020. Number 5. The Pope a film exploring the relationship and opposing visions between two of the most powerful figureheads of the Catholic Church, Pope Benedict XVI and Pope Francis, is unarguably an Oscar bait. Netflix has summoned all the audacity to tread on such a sensitive and intriguing path, and if the Pope arouses the Oscar voters' interest, then it will be a strong Oscar contender in 2020. Leading the cast is Silence of the Lambs' unforgettable actor Anthony Hopkins, who won Best Actor in the 64th Academy Awards in 1992. His successor, Pope Francis, is portrayed by Tony and Olivier Award winner Jonathan Price. Taking the directorial responsibility is Brazilian filmmaker Fernando Mireles, whose Portuguese-language film City of God earned four Oscar nominations in 2004, including Best Actor for Mireles. While writing the script for The Pope is Anthony McCartan, who has earned three Oscar nominations so far, Best Picture and Best Adapted Screenplay for 2014's The Theory of Everything for being the film's producer and screenwriter, and another Best Picture nomination category as one of the producers of 2017's Darkest Hour. There's Oscar hope for the Pope. Number 4. The King Period films are also huge potential Oscar contenders. Think of The Favorite, Shakespeare in Love, Barry Lyndon, Hamlet, and more. It is in the same vein that The King may take its route to the 2020 Oscar Derby after Netflix distributes the film in late 2019. It is an adaptation of Shakespeare's plays Henry IV, Parts I and II, and Henry V, in which the plot takes place in the late 1300s, and revolves around a prince whose brother is killed in a battle right before the brother inherits the crown. Timothy Charmolette is one of the youngest Oscar nominees in recent years, plays the titular role of Henry V, who ascends to the crown as the next in line, and bears the gargantuan responsibility of preserving England, as it gets bloody in a war with France. Joining Charmolette are Robert Pattinson as the Dauphin, Ben Mendelsohn as King Henry IV, Lily Rose Depp as Catherine, and Joel Edgerton as Falstaff. Edgerton co-wrote the screenplay with the film's director David McMood, who's best known for his critically acclaimed crime drama Animal Kingdom in 2010. Will this film be a king come Oscar night? Number 3. The Last Thing He Wanted Book adaptations for the big screen is a common practice in Hollywood, but if the finished product turns out to be a superior version of its printed source, Oscar buzz surrounds the film version. Such may be the case of The Last Thing He Wanted, which is an adaptation from Joan Didion's book of the same name, and will be distributed by Netflix. It's directed by Dee Rees, whose last Netflix project, Mudbound, earned four Oscar nominations, including Best Adapted Screenplayer for her. Dee is again co-adapting for the screen The Last Thing He Wanted, which is about a journalist who stops her coverage of the 1984 presidential primaries when her mother dies, and then returns home to look after her dying father. Then she flies to Costa Rica, taking over her father's role as an arms dealer for the U.S. government in Central America. Oscar Best Supporting Actress winner Anne Hathaway stars as journalist Elena McMahon, together with Ben Affleck, who has been a recipient of Best Original Screenplay and Best Picture Awards from the Academy. Number 2. The Laundromat Steven Soderbergh, Gary Oldman, and THE Meryl Streep their names are synonymous with Oscar greatness, and most likely, that will be the promise of their latest collaboration, The Laundromat. Soderbergh, 2001 Oscar Best Director for Traffic, translates to the big screen the story of the Panama Papers involving a group of journalists who helped expose an unbelievable 11.5 million files that link the world's most powerful people and leaders to secret bank accounts. They turn out to be controversial cases of tax fraud and money laundering, with Streep and Oldman leading the cast, the potential for getting Academy Awards in the acting categories is high. As Panamanian lawyer Jurgen Mossack, Oldman's portrayal may be a strong follow-up to his Oscar-winning turn as Winston Churchill in 2017's Darkest Hour. Any screen performance of Streep is considered an event, so in this political thriller, she is poised for her 22nd Academy Award nomination. 
an unprecedented record in Oscar history, and perhaps a fourth win after bagging one Best Supporting Actress and two Best Actress awards. Number 1. The Irishman Martin Scorsese's The Irishman has the Oscar stamp all over it as the film is teeming with Academy Award winners. Scorsese himself scored an Oscar trophy for direction on his sixth nomination for 2006's The Departed. A Scorsese collaborator for 50 years who serves as the editor of The Irishman, Thelma Schoonmaker received the Golden Statuette for Raging Bull, The Aviator, and The Departed as Best Editor. Then there's Steven Zalian, the 1994 Oscar Best Adapted Screenplay winner for Schindler's List, who wrote the script about the true crime story of Frank the Irishman Sheeran, a self-confessed mafia hitman who killed labor union leader Jimmy Hoffa. Definitely expected to sizzle on the big screen are Oscar-winning acting greats Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci. With a Best Supporting Actor award for 1974's The Godfather Part II and a Best Actor nod for 1980's Raging Bull, De Niro is a surefire Best Actor contender as The Irishman. Pacino was Oscar 1993's Best Director for The Son of a Woman, while Pesci got the Supporting Actor Award for 1990's Goodfellas. Truly, The Irishman is an Oscar magnet. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of voodoo videos.